and they're off. Good start from Gaze down the front, and Andreasen on that right side. Nino Schurter on the left side as well, just coming through. Yeah, so the European champion and the world champion in the first call of the one that was one and two. <laughs> Nissan Simon Andreasen from Cannondale. European champion hit into the front, and we saw in the women's race, important to be in that front ten most of the race. Further back, quite a lot of an opportunity to have crashes. And immediately here, the first a few riders are watching around to each other over their shoulder. Who is doing the work? Especially Simon Andreas. Uh, I haven't seen Luca Schwartzbauer at the front so far, where he's drifted a bit further back, but it's Andreasen just hitting the front from Gaze from Colombo. Goretzky just knocking elbows there with Schurter and Saru. Yeah, Charlie Aldridge as well, squeezing here against these fences. Nico <laughs> now is doing the work immediately. Hard, yeah, especially, pushing on. Yeah, especially these uh, Swiss riders who didn't make the qualification for the Olympics. Felipe Colombo, Marcel Guarini, Thomas Linter. But it's Colombo stretching it out, pushing on hard. Almost this climb, we have the drag we've just gone up. A little flowing section, then we drop down, and then there's a long, hard drag. We saw in the women's race that where per Peterson was doing the damage. It's long enough just to put the pressure on. You can see as well, Sam Gaze doesn't like to work this early in the race. Try to save his energy. And he's strong as well when it comes down to a sprint finish. He knows that he can have a, and has another weapon when it comes down to the last few laps. Nino just on the outside, such a smart rider. He knows always the right place to be at the right time. Here comes Lucas Schwarzbauer oh. from in the purple jersey. Then we see him for the first time, and he's immediately taking the lead. But he's had to work yeah, yeah, hard yeah. to get back to the front. You know, if I to, to, to move up through and then instantly attack. You know? Look at Sam Gaze, he is slowing down the pack here yeah. in this corner. And it's what we saw so much last season, is Schwartz, Power and Gaze just controlling the pace, having a little recovery and almost treating this like a set of intervals, you know, on and off, on and off, and just attacking slowly. Yeah, Sam Gaze, he's slowing down the speed again. <laughs> And they would attack for Luca Brago from Italy. That's a and brave Sebastian move. Vinny who's not <laughs> reacting on this attack. I think that's a brave move for the Italian I mean, going early. It's not decided yet, actually, if Luca Brago go into the Olympics. I mean, still all open at the moment. That's still open, yeah. The, the, the Italian Federation hasn't decided yet. I'd be interested to see who takes this on now, but it's Schwartz Bauer. But look at this gap. That's a decent gap. It is. And it's everyone looking way. around who's going to take it on. And, and who is doing the work? Well, Schwartzbauer, but it's Bridal, big gap now, coming around a six second gap. He launched an attack just as everyone else was easing and looking at each other. And this has made it a bit more interesting now. Schwartzbauer now doing the work, closing that gap, try to closing that gap at least. They you know, do, so yeah. they're all yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, each yeah. other, seeing who's going to do the work. And at the moment, they're just leading out to Schwartzbauer. And that yeah. gap going out now. Yeah, he's increasing his gap. Oh, this is a class is move. Is he able to do it and make it to a good end? But it's so, it's so early in the race. This is a brave move going out now. Lap six of 11, and it's Brido taking it on. And it's Brido off in front, making a gap, but it's now Nino Schurter taking it on. That gap's going to start dropping pretty quick if these guys start pressing on the pedals. But it's, and we see now Schwartz Bauer just up the outside. Nino pushing hard, Fini, Saru, Litcher ah. going down, just catching wheels. Yeah, catching wheels. And it was Matthias Fluke who, who overtook him immediately. A lot of Swiss riders actually in that uh, in these first ten. And as the pace is ridden, that gap to Brido. You know, it's just coming back down at only a few seconds now. I think the next time, the next climb up, he's going to get pulled back to the main. Yeah. But a brave move, really brave. And it becomes more difficult for him to make oh. it to a good end. And it's Colombo now. Big move. And we've got Nino in the wheel. So Nino has, like we talked about, the opportunity just to let the wheel go, make someone yeah. else chase, use a bit of team tactics. Yeah, difficult to, to do for Nino uh, if 
Philippe who is launching in an attack. He's closing the gap now. Overtake him immediately. Another attack of Filippo Colombo. And the pace is going to start rising now. Colombo tucked in with the slipstream just dropping down. Let's look up Brido actually who is trying to follow him. Against us now. Scherter on the right. Koretsky following. Then Saru. Two more laps. And the pace is going to get rapid. Nino is going. Nino, Nino is attacking. Oh. Here we go, Nino's got it, Koretsky's on his wheel, teammate Colombo. Now he has Sherman as well, doing yeah, a good yeah, ride yeah. on the outside in the giant but, team. But Jan Schumann's many times in the top eight of a short track race, many times in the first row of the start of the cross country race on Sunday. It's Nino from Koretsky, teammate Colombo, Lichia Sherman's, Zaru, Gaze. And he's there, he's not scared of Nino, that's for sure. And it's Sherman's from Nino. We're on the penultimate lap, the pace rising up a bit. And this front group of 10 just getting dragged clear. You can see Blevins just on the back. Gaze there sitting fifth place. He's doing a KG race tonight, doing a smart ride. He's never been that aggressive, but always in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he has to be in the right position when it comes down to a sprint finish. I think it's interesting to see whether Nino's going to take it on again. He seems to prefer that first drag. But I think it's that where we saw Pauline Prompovo attacking Luca Bridal back in 19th after that brave attack. But we see the Saru just on the back of this group. But the base definitely eats up. Here we go. We got Schwarzbauer. No, it's last his lap. Day. It's a last lap. And it's Sherman's going on this first climb. Nino following. Nino. Dying to get the grimace now. Sebastian Fini is there. Sam oh, Gaze, Sam, Sam Gaze. Colombo. That's the leading group. Six He's riders. Gaze. Look at that. And then we have Jordan Saru. He's closing that gap on his own. It's Sebastian Finney doing a great ride. But Jan Schumann, is it too early? Or is he able to make it to a good end? But Gay's looking strong. You saw him going at that first climb just out the outside. And I think when we sit this forest track, I think we're going to see Gay's doing an attack. Gay's on third place, the world champion in short track racing. Yeah, and then Koretsky, Colombo. And then Finney as well. This is where we start the big drag up. This is where it's at now. And it's Sherman's going. Four plays in the leader's jersey. 182 on the heart rate for Sam Gaze. Full max now. We've got this one climb left. It's Gaze going up the, the outside. Oh, and Nino just looking across. Oh, Jan Schumann, he's so strong. What a ride from Germans tonight. But it's Gaze who's now got the perfect position in second. We've gone around this corner. We've got the long finish straight. But it's Sherman's going into the bend. Followed by Gaze, followed by Schurter, followed by Koretsky. Here we go, the long finish straight. It's a sprint. And it's Gaze coming off the wheel from Sherman's. Gaze is coming up the outside. Is he going to stall? Is he going to take it? Sherman's drops back into the saddle. But it's the world champion, Gaze, who takes the win here in Val Sole. Gaze. What a result, what a sprint as well. The perfect position on that last lap, coming off the wheel of Sherman's. Sam Gaze, world champion, Alpes in Koenig, taking his second win of the season in the XCC. So there we go, your top three, Sam Gaze, Victor Koretsky, and Jens Sherman's.